um, show what this awesome projector can do. So I'll explain it to you. Oh, and I, I apologize. I, I meant to say well, before we started, if you did not bring a, a um, device, we have Chromebooks right up there if you'd like to give on the survey, which is on your invite, and um, fill that out. So. Remember, not all of our schools have projectable whiteboards, so I think we need to just set that stage just a little bit better. Our newer standard is we've done new construction since 2016 and new modulars is a projectable whiteboard. The whiteboard does not glare um, when the projector bulb hits it, where like if you shine a projector in a traditional whiteboard, you get that hot spot. Um, but we don't have that. They're at least 100 inch diagonal boards. Um, and then generally the projector would be configured above the board, shining down. Um, but in this case, for a demo, it's just flipped, so it's so below the, shining. Do those shirts float through as much as the sound better then? Um, so, like windows and stuff? Mm -hmm. yeah, they're not as they're not as a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, honestly, the brightness of this is much more than anything else. Yeah, the short, but like, it's not competing with the ambient light that's around here. The short, the light is actually going right directly to the whiteboard, mm -hmm. so you're not having to compete with the ambient light from a you know, projector that's mounted in the middle of the classroom. Yeah. So. yeah, so just keep that in mind that our board is not the idea. Yeah, no, yeah, no. Right here. so when I added that too, is that typically on our big drive boards, then the image is somewhere between 85 and 90 inches typically, roughly. Right. So, so yeah, so I'll kind of get started here. So, so I'm Cheryl Arnett, I'm here I'm located in, in Denver, so I'm your local Epson Education Account Manager. So thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. You guys are you got a big class, big class, big group here. Um, so we're, today we're going to talk about why um, why projection in your classroom. So so why Epson Display? So um, we have been in the projector business probably about. 25 years, and then we've had Brightlings in, in our lineup for about 12 years, and this is the fifth generation of Brightling. Um, we are number one in the projector market, um, and we have 10 million students that learn on Epson every day. Um, when you see the word Brightlink, it just means it's an interactive projector, so just kind of keep that in mind. And that's all we're going to talk about today. Epson makes a lot of projectors, and uh, our Brightlink interactive is is one of our best-selling modules. Models. Um, it gives you large, bright, big images. Um, and now we have laser light source, which no more lamps. Um, image quality is much better. Lasts about 20,000 hours. Not going to die at 20,000, but it will not decay as fast as like a lamp lamp projector does. Um, three chip LCD. We have all colors all the time on our, our image. So to give you better color light accuracy um, versus like a competing DLP product, product or projector, um, we're the only brand that is a three chip LCD. So all of our images are big, bright, all colors all the time. We use a BT709 uh, gamma range. So whatever your school colors are, you can project that confidently and accurately on our projectors. So here's kind of a side-by-side -side with um, uh, the DLP image, a single chip image, single chip DLP on the right-hand side, and a three-chip LCD projector on the left-hand left -hand side. And you can see on the, on the DLP side, it's, the colors are muted. That's because you're only getting one color at a time on using a DLP color wheel. So we can do images on a short throw bright light projector up to 110 inches. So front of the room collaborations, things like that. Um, everybody in the class, a class about this size, everybody can see it. It's kind of like, you know, flat panels are great in your, in your house, just you and your family watching it. When you go to a movie theater, it's kind of that type of scenario where you want to be able to see the movie. So that's why you go to the big screen the big thousand inch screen in the movie theater. Students want to be able to see what's going on even in the back of the class. As I mentioned earlier, we've been doing this about 12 years on the Brightlink. So we were the first to have a Brightlink 
uh, interactive projector um, with a short throw. Um, we've evolved till now, but it was the first our lamp projector, and now we've come to a laser light source um, projector. So here's kind of the lineup. Um, the bright one, 725. Um, it's just basically different resolutions, different brightnesses, depending on your budget. So this Brightlink 725 is 4,000 lumens, um, laser, WXGA resolutions, all the same features. It's not a detailed feature of these projectors, it's just kind of a little snapshot of which, what's on these projectors. So, and then the next step up is the Brightlink 735 FI, which is 3,600 lumens, but better resolution. And this is the projector that does a 16 by six aspect, 110 inch diagonal. Size. And then the brighter ones are the Brightly 1480, 1485, which are 5,000 lumens and do the 120 inch diagonal size. And this is kind of, kind of will show you um, what I'm talking about. On the, on the white outline, that's a, that is a 75 inch interactive flat panel display. And as you can see, you're, you know, it's kind of chopped off. Um, the next one up is the 100 inch display size in the green outline. Um, it's a 77% larger display than the 75 inch flat panel. And then if you moved up to the Brightlink 735, that gives you the 16 by six aspect, 110 inch diagonal display. So big, bright pictures, students can engage. Um, that's all interactive, it's touch, it's pen. Um, it gives you the opportunity to be collaborative with your students everybody's engaged. It's so much better than, you know, having to look at a 75 inch flat panel. So with that, I'm gonna kind of show you a video. Look on it here. There's some audio, but it's not on. <laughs> Wireless LAN connector 
audio, audio sounded pretty good. Uh, microphone, interactive sync port, and then RS-232 for control. Again, so with lasers, you set it and forget it. It is, the laser light source has really changed, it's been a game changer. Um, gives you some much better uh, image quality. It's like 2.5 million to one contrast ratio. Contrast ratio is your blacks and your whites and the, what's in the middle is your brightness. Um, it's an instant on. So remember the old lamp projectors? You had to, is it on? It, oh, it's got to warm up. Laser, you don't, you don't have to do that anymore. It's on, you're ready to start your class. Um, 20,000 hours, you don't have to climb a ladder to change out the lamps or anything. You can just set it and forget it. And it's good for the environment. So no more, no more mercury from the lamps in the environment. So this is kind of cool. This is a, a not, what I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of give you the presentation here first, and then I can go and kind of show you the actual usage of it. So this is kind of the home screen screen. On the, on the projector, and so whatever input you have connected to it, it's, um, it's gonna give you a thumbnail of what's on that input. So all you have to do is touch it, and you'll be connected to that input. Very straightforward. If there's not anything connected to it, it just gives you the icon. And then down below, real quick, you know, the projector, so you can set up your projector. The split screen is that quad in the middle there. You can do a side-by-side. -side or you can do a quad split. You can put up to four images from four different sources onto the projector. And then it does have a QR code, and I'll talk about that in a second. So everything is touch on this. You can set up the projector easily enough. It just scrolls through the menu, and you can go to any setting you want, just using your fingers to do all your settings. And then Miracast, we are, Miracast, I don't know, you guys have um, Intel devices, basically. So Miracast is nice, does your audio, video, all your input from wirelessly. It's available on PCs pretty much that are 8.1 and older or later. Um, and then uh, all Miracast certified products are, are able to connect to this projector wirelessly. We also have a, this is a free software that comes with all of our projectors actually. It's called iProjection. And so what it is, it's a free software, um, teacher download. You can download it from our website. You can connect up to five students, uh, or excuse me, 50 students, sorry, 50 students. And uh, so you're teaching a class, they can connect to the, to the projector using that QR code or IP address, whatever device they have. And they can, she can look at who's, you know, like they're doing a test or, or whatever. You like. John, did you get the answer? And then she can project that, and she can select up to four students to go to the board and see each student's answer. So it's pretty interactive that way. So if they're, you know, with the whole pandemic, people didn't want to touch the board, that sort of thing. So now you can do you can do that wirelessly. Um, whiteboard sharing. This is where you can share. So if you have a main projector that you're presenting on, and say you want to also project through a couple of the you want to project here in the, the main projector in the district. If you have schools or something that you want to see, have them see the same presentation, it will copy, it, it will, you set up the IP addresses to up to four connect, uh, other projectors, it'll display those, those same images. So you can have up to four other projectors outside this building or even in another space, you can connect and have the same image show up on those projectors. And then, I don't know if you're familiar with our Brighter Futures program. So this is an Epson's education program that gives you, um, it's just budgetary pricing, it's a discount. Um, you, you don't have to, you should, it gives you a better idea. And I have pricing over here if you want, if you're interested, but you could, you should never pay more than Brighter Futures pricing, but you can always pay less. And then with that Brighter Futures program, you also get a five-year warranty, a dedicated 800 number, um, I'm up here local, so you can call me directly <laughs> if you have any issues. Um, it's really a nice program. It's been successful. Our service, if you have a unit, let's say, you know, something happens with your projector, 
Um, you call a dedicated 800 number, they'll overnight you a projector right away. There's a prepaid FedEx label in there. You take the defective unit, ship it back, all at no cost to you. Um, it's really convenient. And we're going to a point where um, you'll be able to, if you're, if you're interested, we can set you up for that, but they'll give you an online portal to um, access the service center directly. You know, 800 number, they kind of make sure they troubleshoot it with you. If you kind of know what you're doing, <laughs> basically, you can get onto the portal and you can swap out projectors that way. So it makes it really convenient. And if you're tracking your devices, that sort of thing. And with that, that's, that's the presentation. And then um, I'll kind of go through some of the, the features here. Any questions or anything you want to talk about? What are the requirements for mounting to a ceiling? I'm just thinking of some of our older buildings, I did one of them. Yeah. Um, what that would entail to put a short throw in an older building, what are the requirements? So, it, so what, uh, is it kind of like the walls or is it just regular? It's ceiling tiles. Would you, would you be able to mount on a wall? So we, we mount on the wall, not on the ceiling. Okay. The so our only building we really run into significant, significant problem in is Tozer. Um, because of- Won the prize! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> because they have those very cool chalkboard systems um, built in and we would end up having to like totally destroy the whole system in the front of the classroom to, to get a mount in. There are times, because it goes above the board, and then there's some pretty specific measurements to hit, yeah. that like height can be impacted. And so in our modulars, a lot of times, you see in the newer modulars, right. we actually have to box out and go up into right. the ceiling a bit, but it's still on the wall. And it's heavy with the low ceiling. And it's heavy. <laughs> so, so it's mounted to the wall, and it's So yeah, the only thing I would recommend, you know, you what, so it's fine with you, if you're just using your pens. When you start to use a finger touch module, you do want to make sure your whiteboard is straight and flat. Like use a level to measure it, the, the flatness of your whiteboard. Because what it is, the finger touch, the projector's up here, and your finger touch module is magnetic, just clicks to your board. It's, it's easy enough and it drops an infrared curtain across the whiteboard, and when you break that infrared with a finger, that's what picks up the touch. And so you wanna make sure that, like, some, some, sometimes it'll bow if, if it's not flat, flat, and that will interfere with the infrared. But other than that, you know, using a short throw, while not, like I said, you don't have you know, the shadowing, getting blinded by the light from the standard throw projector, that sort of thing. So, you know, it's something, you know, a lot of schools are doing. So, so just to kind of give you the, the rundown. So I have my computer hooked up, and now I have a bit, and I also have a video signal going to it. So it gives you a little thumbnail of what, what's being, what you can go to. I'm gonna kind of go do a split screen. So it'll give you a choice of two or four uh, inputs. So it just syncs up. And you can keep this like, you can annotate on it. Let's see, let's do, let's do yellow. You can annotate. Yeah, so you can, you can annotate. Um, there's a, also, what else? <laughs> um, you can move this. This is inside of the of the image right now, but you can move it to any side that you want or down below. The trash is, you know, do you want to clear it? Yes. Um, the eraser, if you write. Um, the eraser will just erase a portion of it. Um, go back to the home screen. Let it sync up again. Um, you can go to whiteboard. <coughs> and this is kind of cool. This is a 
little graft you can select from. If you got a music class, you can do. Oops. You can do a treble play, things like that. You have problems. You can, you know, go through that with the students. Um, just kind of talk about certain things. And you know, I don't know. Do you guys use Smart um, software at all? The Smart. Any kind of software for learning things like that at all? If you ever get to that, but we also we actually ship the smart software with the projector that's free for a year. You use a activation code you call smart, and it'll activate it free for a year. And then after that, you can you have to pay go to smart and they got you know continue with play. But um, we're pretty agnostic with any software you guys use for your learning classes. Um, so. I'm trying to think like Educause. Is it Educause? There's a there's a learning software called Educause, and that's been really taken off. But they have a program like you know find all the animals in a screen or something, and then they can, the kids can move the animals to the zoo or something like that. But I have a question. Yeah. If you do annotate or use this, then can you save that? Yeah. So you can save it off your computer using a USB or save it onto your hard drive. Um, you can print um, all those things like that with it. So yeah. Um, what else is coming? Let's go back. Um, this is. It's been a while since I've done this one. <laughs> so this is the screen sharing. You can actually send screen sharing with your students or they can share back with you. And it goes to a QR code, that sort of thing. So you have to be set up wirelessly to do that. Um, screen mirroring, that's um, where you're using the Miracast software, basically. Um, other than that, um, Like we're kind of limited. We're kind of limited by the by the screen here, but this could do much much larger images. So um, it's just a nice way to, um, like I said, engage and collaborate with your students. They can come up to the board. Um, you know, kindergarten to. You know, six, seven, grade, all. You know, they like the collaborations. They, especially now that everything kind of back online again with the school coming to session, having a big, bright image up front, like I said, really engages students in a lot of collaboration. So, when they can connect, you on your computer control what actually goes to the screen. Right. They cannot. Just yeah. Go. They cannot be. <laughs> yeah. They cannot project on it. You have to let them. You have to allow it. So yeah, we don't, and it's line of sight. It can't happen. Nobody can be connected that's outside the classroom, pretty much. And you can, you can select who gets put put up on the board. So yeah, I know. <laughs> Kids like to be funny. Yes. <laughs> so, so any other questions or comments? Anything else? Yeah, well, I don't know if you'll be able to answer, but do you know how much? Uh, for developments being put into the high projection app itself on your guys' side of things? Is there a lot of expansion going on with that as far as updating? Yeah, they just updated, a, they added um, a couple, ones like Apple, we were collaborative with Apple, so Apple will change a feature or something. And so they just recently did a update um, February 1st for that high projection. So they do maintain it, and it up, updates every now and then. You just go to the website, and. Right. Yeah. I mean, we've used a little bit and tested it out. There's just like, there's a lot there, and there's things that could be there. So I just wanted to know if it was like, oh, static, we're not adding any no, features, no, they, or are they developing about, features for it? They updated it, seems about every year and a half or so yeah. when a new um, product comes out for Apple or, you know, uh, Chromebooks and things like that. So yeah. it just, we have to, if it's a third party, we have to adapt it and figure out. So, just so you know, two eye projections really not streaming video. That's more mirror cast. 
but it's more static displays, right? So. Is um, our projection included with the? Yeah, it is, it is. Um, we also offer um, a management software that's free for your projectors, for your IT guys. If you, they can all be on a network. So let's say you were on, you know, shutting down for the holidays, that sort of thing. They can go into their laptop and see all the, all the projectors in the district and then turn them all off. Save your laser, laser light source, basically. But they'll shut it down. It also will sense, so let's say teacher forgets to turn off the projector. If it doesn't sense an image, um, or you know, you have an image up there that's not moving a static image, if it senses it, it'll actually go to a sleep mode and shut down so you're not using that laser light source to you know, add in hours to your light source, basically. It'll power down. And then once you go to move it, it pops right back up. So. Are all the bright lights a laser source, or are some of the older models still No, alive? so this is the first, all we have now really are laser light source. We have, we're about 70% laser now. We still make a lamp projector, and it's kind of a price point thing, a lower cost. But you're not having to replace buy lamps later on down the road. Are they in stock? Are they, you know, shipping that sort of thing? So, um, but yeah, the laser is pretty much all of our bright lamps are laser now. So, yeah, anything else? Um, so in terms of like math tools or anything like that, that would come with the smart software that you provide just for one year and then after that would be. Right, better. right. There's an activation code that you get with your projector and you just call smart and then activate it. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Another service, you know, again, back to our services, is really, they are, you know, it's a five year warranty, but even if it were a couple months beyond the expiration, they'll still service it. So, yeah. and if you do have any issues, you can always reach out to me directly and we can help, help you out and get you in touch with the, get your projector replaced, <coughs> repaired, that sort of thing, so. Is wireless built into all of them? Yeah, wireless is all built in too. Yeah. So, um, what would be involved in having it both hardwired and wireless so that if the wireless went out, so you, there's an adapter, you, on some of them they come with it, but on the 7, 700 series, mm -hmm. there's a, a LAN, a wireless LAN adapter, it's like 100 bucks, I think, right? 100 bucks or something like that. You would, could add that to your projector, basically. So you have hardwire and wireless capability. Awesome, well thank you guys, I appreciate it.